Hey you guys and welcome to my channel. I want to talk about the um, um, something really really important that we do in our business but also a lot of people are probably asking about subscription boxes. Um, it's something actually pretty popular as you can see like lots of people have them and um, they make money from them, right? Well, how do you even start a subscription box? Is it worth it for your business? Is it something that you want to do? So I have three tips before you start thinking about if you want to do a subscription box and you want to know if it's even like worth it. Um, the first thing I want to talk about is, um, I have my little notes, so I'm a little cheat in here, is are you solving a problem? In business, you want to know that there's, of course, is there a target market for what you're looking for? Are people going to buy? Is it something that other people have? have? Are you competing with lots of people doing the same thing? What's going to make you different? For for an example, for our company, um, we have salt-free spices, and there's not a lot of salt-free spices out there um, because it's proven that um, salt retains a lot of water and the sodium and having too much of it and we eat it every day in our cooking. So it's a huge benefit with our boxes that we have those salt-free spices because there's not a lot of spices out there that taste really good. So we're solving a problem. We're tasting good and healthy. Um, so that's one element. So think about those elements in your business that can solve a problem and or even if it's something that someone else already has, how can you enhance that problem per se? Um, the second one is sponsorships and partnerships. When you're starting a subscription box in the beginning, it's gonna be really hard to kind of get the best rate possible and um, kind of like the best box or the best, best package. So coming together with partnerships with other small businesses or other brands to kind of sample their products, to put together your box of whatever it is. Um, for us, we're actually looking at um, this uh, chocolate place that I've been eyeing balling. It's a company that they do like premium top chocolate, but it's uh, like organic and natural and it's delicious and all that stuff. And I would love to bring them and put them in our package um, because it has a little, it has to do with food and it has to do with natural and our whole, you know, um, natural sugars, et cetera. So, partnering up and building those relationships with um, sponsors is another way that you can actually add it in your box and make it affordable um, because when you start doing the math the box ends up being like 60 70 dollars and who's really gonna pay for that you know unless it's something really elite like a certain jewelry or whatever the case is so make sure you start looking at what's involved in your box what are you gonna include um, and who can you partner with the last one is focus on your relationships rather than your subscriptions. Um, this is a huge one for us, especially that we take it very seriously. We, every single person, we write hand write. Yes, hand write. Um, thank you and welcome and everything is well, um, you know, well branded. And that's important to us. We build those relationships with them. We see how they're doing wherever state we see a state. Um, we had someone the other day from Australia. We're like, oh my God, that is so cool. You know, so we build these relationships and we focus on that rather than just their subscription because that's what will make them come back over and over again. If you're thinking about having a subscription box and you want some more tips, go ahead and um, email me or you can leave comments below. Um, hello at DearGodAreWeThereYet.com. I hope you guys are enjoying the uh, YouTube channel. It's new, of course, it's new. I don't know what I'm doing, but um, just my favorite things I want to add on here. So budgets, business, my passion to empower, and of course, self growth. So check out the podcast every Tuesday and um, yeah, on YouTube. I'll see you guys next week.